So Bradson and King, King. are schools in Philly. Right. And King we, is uptown. Bradson in North Philly. In North Philly. And we did, I had about probably like 25 cats show up. And, and we did it at Grads. Uh, I'm standing at the top of the steps with the principal. And a young dude come up the steps. And he, he just come through and he walked to the back. Then he turned around and he come back. And he leaned into the principal. He said, I needed this today. Mm. I said, she looked at me. I looked at her. Okay. I don't know what you mean, bro, but whatever it is, I'm glad you got it. And so the goal was to really galvanize a thousand black men to be impactful, to just hit all the schools and just be present and just show up and be present, give them words of affirmation, you know what I'm saying, cheer them on, make them smile, let them see his day getting started different. Because now you're setting a different, a different representation of what black men are to them versus just the guy that's standing on the corner of the block every time you leave to go to school. Like, you cared enough about me to stand out here and cheer me on and tell me that I can be great. So that that was the goal with it, you know what I'm saying? It, it never got to a thousand, but I put that effort in. I'm like, well, let me get to this next level, and then I'm going to go back and do it again, and I'm going to get to a thousand. Nah, I appreciate you. I appreciate the movement, man. Yo, we need some, we need soldiers. We need an army. That's what we need, and we need, you know, shout out again to Kelly, man. We talked on the phone two hours. This is my man. I keep mentioning him. You know, my OG Kelly, he's a violence interrupter for Cure Violence, and we were talking an hour last night or last, yesterday afternoon, and we would talk for like two hours, and it, 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 our conversation kept coming back to the same thing, like, yo, dudes is coming home. Man, listen, the only way we're going to solve these situations is going on in this hood. Y'all got to step up, man. Like, it don't involve no money, but it involves just dudes coming back to their hood, man, coming back. Dudes that have the most connection with these, with young brothers that's on that block. It gotta be dudes that used to be on that block. Straight up. I agree with you. And, but uh, that's, why I, I, that's why I'm also an advocate for black entrepreneurship. And the reason why I'm an advocate for it is because if we have more black entrepreneurs creating more black businesses, now we create more jobs to give more to give back to those um, cats that's coming home because we know that in, in out here on the other side they're not going to hire them if they got a if they got a yeah, felony. Yeah. But if we create in black businesses, you know, I, I watched a doc a little documentary the other day on what's the name about CNN. They was talking to um, this black woman that that uh, used to work for BET, and now she's worth quite a few million and, uh, and another gentleman who was in the real estate he's worth quite a few million and, they, and what they talked about what she said to me that was profound was that this we're, we're a percentage we're less than a percentage of the one percenters that's black multi-millionaires right and for them the black multi-millionaires they still get reminded that they're black mm -hmm. right so we really don't want you a part of what we got going on over here. But because it's not enough of us in that level or in that, in that stratosphere, then it gets lonely. It's, it's, it's a lonely feeling a lot of times because there's not a lot of us in that arena. So how do we change that? How do we change it to not even just to get people into millionaires, but how about just thousandaires, right? To be black entrepreneurs and buy back our blocks. Because if, if we were buying back our blocks, then gentrification wouldn't be killing our neighborhoods. Yeah. But you get me on a whole other tangent. Preach, brother. You feel what I'm nah, saying? I, I feel what you're saying. <laughs> I feel what you're and, 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 and we got to bring you back, man, because we got to close out. But that's the illusion of the black middle class. Because the illusion of the black middle class was if there was really a black middle class here in D.C., like people fronted, Ooh. like it was... We wouldn't even have this because you would have bought them blocks. So yes. stop all that Jack and yes. Jill nonsense yes. and going to the vineyard and yes. talking about where your kids go to school because you don't own none of them fucking blocks. Yes. So all of that shit yes. you saying means nothing yes. because gentrification still happened Kill despite us. all of that um, embracing the politics of respectability. Because not going to talk about that enough, but uh, you know... That's the realness of it. We, we, we got to get away from the facades and get back into yeah, the reality. Yeah, into the reality. Stop faking like we got what we don't have and stop trying to be what we not. Which is why we call this show Working Class Intellectuals. That was, we had that conversation before you got there. So, <laughs> we're about to close out because we could talk to this brother all night. <laughs> so, you want to close? You got to close? Yeah, you I guess I'll close out. He who says he can and he who says he can't, 
both of them usually right. Yes, they are. Working class intellectuals. Working class intellectuals, Rich Sutton, author, fear of becoming a man, 1,000 black men, Amari Academy. The book is dope, my brother. I appreciate you, bro. The book is dope. Thank you. I don't me. read a lot of books, man. I mean, even though I'm a professor, I don't read through them all. Like, I might read the beginning eh, to get turned up. Yo, I read it all the way through, my man. I appreciate you, bro. Yo, everybody out there, y'all need to check the book out, man, and come hear this man speak. So when next, how can they contact you? So you can you can you can reach me on social media under Mr. PDQ. Mr. PDQ is where I go to on social media, and you can go to the website to get the book at fearbecomingaman.com. You can go there and grab the book from there as well. Fear of becoming a man, Rich Sutton, Uptown Philly, two one five in the building representing. Yes, sir. You know I always gotta bring Uptown through. Working class intellectuals, we stand out the way, we stand in our lane. We out of here. Peace. Go.